Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a very cool AI tool that I came across while I'm doing uh, some research and this tool actually can convert our 2D drawings into 3D. So um, I was going through some research, how to do it using uh, Revit ABI, how to do it using Dynamo. I already created some scripts that can convert 2D drawings into 3D and you can find some of those video uh, online on, on my channel. But actually um, the AI now came and um, the, has already replaced all of those kind of scripts or ABI scripts or Dynamo scripts. And now we can use this website for free to create our 3D model from a 2D drawing. So, um, of course, this is not 100% accurate, yes, but it will give you a really good base as you will see right now to start with. And um, for someone who's already worked on some scripts in Revit to do this in Dynamo and Revit ABI, I'm telling you that also those scripts are not accurate 100%. They give you good base, but you have to go through uh, uh, the, the model by yourself and revise it and so on. So I would say it's um, yeah similar results for this tool. So let's go straight forward to uh, this AI tool. It's called uh, Amplify. It's actually a, um, it's a package. This one of the uh, one of the tools, which is converting the uh, PDF to uh, Revit or IFC. And actually, there is uh, more tools uh, is from from uh, this company. I will leave you the the link in the description so you can test it by yourself. And for now, it's completely free. So. Uh, let's go through the, uh, the, um, the information. Let's see what this tool actually can do. So yeah, it tells you that it can convert. It's a free web application that allow you to tr uh, transform your uh, housing architectural drawings. So right now it's focusing only on the architectural drawings or architectural element. That means it can convert walls, doors, windows, rooms, equipment like sink, showers, like the furniture and um, they forgot also to mention that they can convert the floors okay they can draw the floor for you and uh, how does it work I will I'm going to show you but you have to be careful what are the limitations for these tools so the the main limitation is that you have to consider that yeah of course they're talking about uh, the accuracy less accurate of course and it tells you that it's only support residential projects, like some projects like yeah, offices, industrial, yeah, they don't have uh, the, the support to those kind of project sets. Like long story to make it short, they can convert yeah, basic plans who has walls, doors, windows, rooms, and so on. And also they're talking about the vertical extrusion. So you have 2D, like the, the, the extrusion, the vertical extrusion are going to be uh, are uh, are pit uh, are pit really with which means that they are going to assume the height of the wall for example, and that means after that you have to go through all the heights and check on it and give it the actual height in the real world. So I think this is the most important thing right now. So let's test this tool with a very basic uh, 2D drawing like this one here. Like it's yeah, it's a plan um, like for um, yeah, a floor for for a residential building or for an apartment, and it's very basic. We have uh, some rooms, we have floors, we have yeah, you can see here the doors and windows and so on. And let's see how uh, the uh, Amplify are going to convert this 2D PDF into a 3D. So now let's do it. So uh, you can drag and drop here, or you just click load your plan and go to your uh, your computer. So I just uh, 
have loaded the plan, so okay. And you have here to agree that uh, this plan of load can be um, uh, is going to be used to improve the accuracy of this tool. So you accept and then you start Amplify. So as you can see, it's pretty quick. I didn't speed up the video or anything. It just they have done it in only three, four seconds. He has detected everything of the uh, plan. Like you can see, the main thing is the walls and there's some mistakes. Like for example, this was door actually wasn't uh, uh, a window, but he made it as window. Um, what else? Like let's hide, as you can see here, all of those elements that you can show and hide them. The roof is already hidden. Let's uh, hide the rooms, which is spaces. And it's pretty good, but like, for example, this one was a balcony. That means this wall is already one meter, one meter 20. This wall here, those two walls. He made it, yeah, continuous wall. It's okay, it's fine. I can adjust that later on. This also a balcony. He forgot to add the walls here those two walls he didn't detect them it's fine i think because of the hatch so uh, those uh, walls hatches are weren't there so that's why he couldn't detect them um but the doors i would say he have done a really good job with the doors the windows i think also he have done okay job it's not of course it's not accurate 100 percent but i think from the opening dimension it's a uh, pretty cool and pretty well um and i'm not sure there was there is a door here i think this also was false this is not a door this actually is a window and but as you can see i would say yeah from accuracy you could give it yeah 70 75 percent which is a really good base to start working with so let's download the ifc i will um i will show you the ifc now how it's going to look like and let's also download the revit right now the the support revit uh 2022 which is this, the 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 one that i'm working with right now i uh, i downloaded both of them and uh, first let's open the ifc this is an ifc viewer and let's see how the ifc is going to look like so i think it's going to be in here the loads no so desktop so this one so this ifc that i downloaded directly from the uh, website and yeah it looks pretty fine almost the same as we we uh, have seen here and let's take a look for the ifc properties so okay has opening mm -mm. okay the properties looks a bit messed up yeah they're not so accurate i think so uh maybe this one it's opening 12 opening so ifc uh parameter they are not so accurate uh, I, I will just say it i'm just testing this with you right now so okay let's try the um, Revit and see how it's going to look like with, uh, in Revit and can I really actually adjust on the height, adjust on the length, on all of the parameters inside the Revit or not. So let's close this one and let's go to Revit, open and here you go. Now we have the 3D model. If you have a Revit uh, 2021 uh, and below, you will not be able to open the models from uh, from Amplify because, as I told you, it's 2022. And if you have like uh, more, you have to uh, you will have to upgrade the model, but it still you will be able to open it. So it's 2022 is right now uh, uh, the the supported version. So let's take a look right now. So this wall, for example. If I clicked on the wall, okay, the type, it's basic wall, external, peering, whatever. He assumed some parameter by himself, but actually it's, yeah, pretty fine. I think from the um, parameters here, uh, I think I can, let's go to the floor plan. Uh, this one and okay, 
So if I clicked on this wall, I can control the length. Yeah, okay, it's fine. The room is not probably because it's not closed anymore because he already created the room for you. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. Let's hide. The, I think this is uh, this is a floor. Ah, okay, this is a plan in the background. I'll just hide it temporary. Uh, yeah, I think the door is also single door. I think that's pretty fine. He already created the types, families. I can't change it, of course. I just want to check on the dimension of this wall. Uh, this uh, this is one, one meter thirty. I am not sure if that's true. Okay, there is no dimension here for the for the doors. Um, okay, but I think it's uh, it's really good that it's very flexible, like it's a native Revit family which I can adjust. Like for example, if I have a problem with those missing walls, I can create my own walls. I can extend this wall, this wall also towards uh, balcony, so I can um, do here like um, yeah, split with gap for example, and maybe here in this one until here and so on I can do all of the adjustment that I wanted to do so it gives you a really good base that you can work on and of course from accuracy as I told you like this for example wasn't a window this is um, this was uh, a door so yeah from the dete detection it's not yeah accurate 100% but I would say he got yeah, more than 80% of the elements right. And as I told you, it's only uh, walls, floors, uh, and uh, as you can see here, he detected already the floor. And he usually, he assumed the, the height or the, the, the depth of the floor 200. Um, like, as you can see, he assumed also the height of the wall 280 um, uh, meter. A centimeter so uh, I would I would say like um, yeah of course maybe it's it's the same maybe it's a bit more a bit less you can adjust the height always from here like it's a, a native Revit parameter and also it's um, it's leave the 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 plan that you already uploaded as he take a screenshot of the plan and lay it as a background on uh, uh, on the floor uh, itself, which is also very good. So this tool really easy and it's uh, really straightforward. It's free and I would tell you I will tell you that I spend days developing a Dynamo script that just can take the simple elements like walls, floors, and uh, convert it into a 3D model. I spent yeah days and I kept even developing those scripts and um, here you go just th just use this tool and this is for free give you a very good base I would say it saves a lot of time if you have to draw everything from 2D it saves you a lot of time so I will leave the link for this uh, cool AI tool in the description and you can test it you can play around and uh, yeah, actually, by uploading more PDFs, you can improve the quality even uh, farther for the AI because it's um, yeah self-learning. He learned by every upload, like ChatGPT, for example. So uh, I guess in the future we will find even uh, that AI can detect more complex elements, not just wall floors. Maybe we will see the structure element as well, like beams and uh foundation actually is it's not so difficult i think this is the next uh, stage the structural element so yeah so that was all for today thank you so much and see you in the next video